Hi, I'm Carl from GMAS, and if you're watching this video, you've likely started sending email campaigns to promote your business, a unique offer, or your mom's Etsy store because she swears her crocheted cat sweaters are the next big thing. <coughs> and things are going well, but you've hit a bit of a speed bump. As you start scaling your campaigns, you're realizing that generic emails just don't cut it. But personalizing every email, well, that's a full-time job all on its own. And with only so much time in a day, you may find yourself choosing between personalization and scale. But what if I told you that there was a way to easily do both? Well, pop that champagne bottle that you've been saving for your kid's graduation. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily send hundreds of personalized emails in under five minutes using GMAS. Here's a quick breakdown of how this entire process is going to work. In order to send personalized emails to hundreds of people, we'll use something called Mail Merge. It's way simpler than it sounds and you don't need a tech degree to use it. Essentially, Mail Merge allows us to use placeholders called tags in your email drafts, which automatically fill with each recipient's individual personalized information. To fill in those tags, we must first prepare all of that information in a Google Sheet which is then connected to Gmail using GMAS. Don't worry, I will guide you through everything step by step. So without any further delay, let's dive right in, starting with preparing our Google Sheet. With the GMAS extension installed, go ahead and open up a new Google Sheet and give it a name for your campaign. Now make the heading of the first column emails and copy over your mail list for your campaign. Then in the second column, name it first name and add in all of your recipients' first names. It's very important that you give each column of information a heading because these column headings are actually going to be the mail merge tags that we use in our email later on. The amazing part about mail merge is that we can now create columns for any personalized information that we would like to use in our campaigns. A few ideas are your recipient's company, location, birthday, or unique discount code. But really, there are no limitations. As long as you know what information to fill in for each recipient, you can add any column headers to the sheet. Side note, if there's a mail merge tag that you would like to use in your email, for example, first name, but you don't know all of the first names for your recipients, then we can actually set fallback values in our email, which I'll cover a bit later. Once your sheet is prepped and you're happy with the way everything looks, we're going to connect it to Gmail using GMAS. To do that, hop over to Gmail and click this red button. If you can't see this button, then it means that you don't have GMAS installed. If that's the case, just quickly add it from the Chrome store. It takes like 10 seconds to install. When you've clicked this red button, you'll see a window pop up where we can select the sheet we just created and connect it. Now, when we do, an email compose window will pop up with all of your recipient's email addresses in one custom GMAS address in the to field. Convenient, I know. Now we can draft out the email for our campaign and finally make use of all of those personalized mail merge tags we created in the sheet. Then to set fallback values for any missing information in your sheet, just add a pipe in your mail merge tag before the brace and type in your fallback value. If GMAS can't detect any information for a recipient from your sheet, it will then use that fallback value instead. Now, all you need to do is click the red GMAS button at the bottom of your email and GMAS will send each recipient their own individual, fully personalized email. It's really that simple and with just a few minutes of prep work, you've saved yourself hours of work. Now I know what you're thinking, what if I send this email and the tags don't work? You wouldn't be the first because the idea of sending a faulty email to hundreds of people in one go is terrifying. Fortunately, we have a detailed guide on our blog covering this entire mail merge process as well as how to test your email for errors before sending and how to easily troubleshoot them. Check it out, link in the description. And there you have it, the fastest and easiest way to send personalized emails at scale. Now, this really is only the tip of the iceberg with what we can do using mail merge and GMAS. You can also use it to send personalized images, attachments, and links to your recipients. We have some detailed videos on our channel covering all of those, so be sure to check them out. GMAS also offers many other powerful features like automated follow-ups, email verification, super easy A-B testing, and so much more. 
If you'd like to learn more about those, check out our website linked in the description or hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for future videos. For now, thanks for watching and happy emailing. Thank you.